In this video we'll talk about the equilibrium of ships and the concept of angle of lol. This is a video 9 in the series of videos on ship stability. And this is the only video probably that I've made so far which doesn't involve any examples of numerical calculations. This is purely a theoretical video for theoretical understanding. And in the next videos I'll take up calculations about these concepts involving these. Because I thought if I involve uh, calculations as well, this video would have become uh, longer than uh, what I want them to be. All right. So let's start with the concept of uh, equilibrium of ships. And in that, the first concept is the concept of a stable equilibrium. All right. So what is a stable equi equilibrium and when is a vessel in uh, this condition? So this is an example of uh, an upright vessel, a box shaped upright vessel where um, the vessel is not heeled or listed to any one side, it's upright and the force of gravity is acting downwards and the force of buoyancy is acting upwards. These forces are equal and opposite and cancelling each other out. K denotes the keel or the bottom of the ship and in this case the vessel is absolutely upright. But in the case next to it, the vessel has heeled to one side. And What is vessel heeling? So when a vessel is heeled, the healing is caused by external conditions other than conditions that involve shifting, discharging or loading of cargoes. So vessel is healed uh, when uh, say due to waves or due to winds acting or due to over tight moorings or if you are making a sudden alteration or fast alteration due to the effect of the centrifugal force then the vessel heals. Uh, when a vessel is involving cargo loading or discharging or shifting of cargoes and uh, that is if it's unequal shifting loading or discharging then the vessel is in list all right it is not healed then the vessel is called to be listing so anyhow i've discussed this concept before in my previous videos and i'll provide you with the links to those videos as well so because this is video 9 i'll advise you guys to watch the first eight videos before you watch this video here and i'll provide you with the links to those videos in the description section below so watch them in order so you understand the concepts because i'll assume that you are very familiar with most of these concepts here so i'm only discussing new concepts that i have not discussed before in this video all right so let's continue with a stable equilibrium so when a vessel is healed that is when a vessel is inclined by waves wind or others if she tends to come back to her original condition she is said to be in stable equilibrium for that to happen the gm must be positive or the metacentric height must be positive that is kg should be less than km so let's see in this above diagram here when the vessel is listing say in this case the vessel is listing on the starboard side so this is the starboard side the right side and this is the port side the vessel is listing here and uh, the black line here denotes the water level all right so i'm, I'm now going to denote it with the blue line so this is the water level all right so the center of buoyancy shifts not the center of gravity because the center of gravity shifts only with the shifting of weights in this case the center of buoyancy shifts because the underwater volume of the immersed part is more on the starboard side so the center of buoyancy shifts and becomes capital b1 all right and then the new center of buoyancy cuts through the center line of the ship through a new position called the transverse meter center which is m here all right the distance between keel to m is called km and the distance between the center of gravity to m is gm so of course the distance from the keel to the center of gravity is kg all right this gz here is called the writing lever which brings this vessel back to the upright condition for this vessel to work or for this couple to work or this lever to work the kg has to be less than km so g has to be below m so since there is no weights involved here no shifting of weights, no discharging or loading or unequal discharging, loading and shifting of weights. The center of the gravity remains unaffected by the heel, whereas it's only the center of buoyancy that's shifting to the lower side, as I have shown you in the diagram above. The forces of the gravity and buoyancy form a couple which tend to return the vessel to her original upright condition. And that up that lever is called the GZ lever or the writing lever. Right? So this GZ forms the lever and brings the vessel upright but for that to happen the kg has to be less than km so g always has to be below the m what happens when it's not the case then we have a case of the unstable equilibrium 
this is the second type of equilibrium unstable equilibrium again the example is the same on your left side is the picture of an upright vessel and on your right side is the picture of a vessel that is healed onto the starboard side the black line here and now I am highlighting it with the blue color denotes the water level so this is the water level and the vessel is underwater here all right so this forms the underwater volume B is always the geometric center of the underwater volume in this case you can see that although the B has shifted but the to B1 capital B1 and the B1 when it acts vertically upwards through its new position and cuts the center line of the vessel it cuts it at the position of the metacentric height or M or sorry GM M transverse metacenter but in this case the center of gravity is above M so in this case if I mark the position of K here KG is more than KM so when a vessel is healed if she tends to continue healing further she is said to be in unstable equilibrium well she tends to continue healing further is because there is no positive writing lever in this case there is a negative writing lever so GZ is acting in the opposite way because of which it cannot bring the vessel back to this upright condition so in this case GM becomes negative because KG is more than KM so the transverse meter center or M is directly above the new position of the center of buoyancy which is B1 the forces of gravity and buoyancy they form a couple but gravity being higher than M this couple tries to heal the vessel further this is also called the negative writing moment the moment of this couple is called a negative writing moment or a capsizing moment so what happens at this stage at this stage there is a concept of angle of lol now this angle of lol is very important for you guys studying stability we'll discuss more about solving angle of lol in this case i'm only introducing the term of angle of lol i'm just explaining the term i will show you how to resolve situations like this in my future videos but for the level of a second mate or third mate all you have to know is the concept of angle of lol so as the km increases as angle of heel increases it reaches a maximum value at some large angle of heel so what is km as you can see km is nothing but the distance from the keel to the transverse meter center okay and this km increases as angle of heel increases so as the vessel heals more and more that could be due to the negative writing moment or unstable equilibrium of the ship it reaches a maximum value at some large angle of heel Alright, as I have shown you in the diagram below so there is one vessel healing and then this is more healing in this case the vessel is called unstable vessel as the unstable vessel heals more and more it may happen that at some angle of heal km increases sufficiently to equal to kg all right the vessel would then be in a condition of neutral equilibrium and the angle at which this happens is called the angle of lol all right so again you can see that this is the water level in the right hand side or in the left hand side the vessel was healing but in the left hand side the vessel has healed even more as the vessel is healed more you can see that the km now increased from the right hand side from the left hand side drawing to the right hand side drawing the km has increased more and now it has become equal to the kg so when km and this is km1 let's say it become equal to kg the vessel is then in condition of neutral equilibrium and the angle at which this happens is called the angle of lol at this stage at this stage here if any opening goes underwater progressive flooding would take place and the vessel would capsize so if at this stage any opening goes under the water if there is an opening here it could be a hull door or it could be a bow door if it goes under the water as the water floods in the vessel would then capsize there are ways to correct the angle of load but we'll discuss that in the future videos when we take up numerical examples and i'll show you how to do that as well then we have the concept of neutral equilibrium this is the third equilibrium in this case when a vessel is healed if she has no tendency to return to her original condition or to continue healing further as in angle of lol kg then becomes equal to km as you saw above there is no writing lever there is no gz that means and hence no writing moment 
to bring the vessel back to the upright condition. The vessel thus has no tendency to continue healing further or to return to her original condition. But again, this vessel and this condition is also not suitable for any kind of navigation or for the voyage to take place. Uh, it is at a very precarious situation here because any kind of weight distribution, shifting, loading can put the vessel in a capsizing position. It can capsize. So there are ways to of course correct this position where we try to bring down the center of gravity. I'll explain that process later on with the help of numericals. But just for theory's sake right now, at this condition, in this condition here, all efforts should be made to bring down the center of gravity. So you must load cargo in such a way that the center of gravity shifts towards the cargo loading. So load towards the lower portion of the ships, lower deck, even if it's towards the deck, or even if it's towards the side that is listing, because that will bring down the G. So your aim in the, at, at this situation or this stage should be to bring down the center of gravity so that Kg is less than Km. Km should always be more than Kg. So if Kg is less than Km, then the vessel will form a writing lever and bring it back to the upright position. So this video was a short video just to explain the concepts of the stable unstable vessel and the three types of equilibrium as well as the angle of lol. Uh, my intention is not here to discuss any numericals at this stage. I will just forming a basis or foundation for a theory but uh, the future videos and the next videos onwards will show you calculations as well and uh, that will put things more in perspective. Alright, if you have any questions regarding these concepts or if it was not very clear to you, please write down in the comment section. Thank you for everybody for subscribing and following my videos. I see you soon with my next video and that will be probably be video 10 in the series of ship stability. Thanks guys.